Did you know that London spent over $70 million on a planned bridge for tourists, although the construction of the project never even started? From the story behind North Korea's Tower of Doom, to this massive empty city, to the largest abandoned skyscraper, let's take a closer look at the five biggest mega projects never finished. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments below if you know of similar failed mega projects in your country. Number 5. Shangyun International Project China has arguably gone through the most rapid transformation of any country in the past three decades. The country has completed massive mega projects worthy of the country's rising economic growth. While China has become a leader when it comes to infrastructure projects, it has also earned a reputation for turning cities into ghost towns with little to no population. One of these ghost towns is located in China's Hebei province, the Xiangyun International Project. This development is divided into two distinct residential and entertainment districts and was set to feature European-styled buildings, connecting bridges, huge parking and shopping complexes, and even skyscrapers. But the rapid development came to a grinding halt in 2014 when the real estate company behind the project was put under investigation for corruption. The property prices nosedived as a result and the company ended up declaring bankruptcy. The head developer aimed to invest $17 billion into the project, and close to 700 residential complexes were already sold when the construction stopped. The location for the project is very convenient with proximity to rail and subway stations. Traffic can be heard roaring across the streets just outside the district, but inside it paints a picture of a ghost town that is only inhabited by stray animals. The project was seized by local authorities in 2017 with no further development, moving into the property became impossible and the premises have remained empty. The billions invested are at risk of being lost as the buildings inside the development continue to deteriorate. Today, the location is practically a landmark for explorers who come here to take photos and are amazed by the fact that such a huge development could be left in its current state. Number 4. London Garden Bridge our next unfinished mega project was planned in Europe at one of London's most iconic destinations, the Thames River. The city had planned to build a bridge that would act as a floating garden above the river. The project was first lobbied by actor Joanna Lumley, who came up with the idea of a garden bridge in the 90s. A woodland, and it's bang in the middle. It comes from Temple Tube Station to here. Until 2012, but the plans were finally unveiled. The 366-meter green bridge covered with trees and flowers at a cost of $85 million was going to connect the South Bank with the Temple area. The clad concrete structure was supposed to be open 18 hours a day and would have attracted an estimated 3 million visitors per year. It was promised that the bridge would be financed by private donors and no public funds would be needed. However, by 2015, the charity behind the project, called the Garden Bridge Trust, revealed that the costs had risen to $260 million, and $85 million were to be procured from public funds. This resulted in a massive public outcry, and several journalists criticized the project for its extravagance. It was said that the bridge wasn't serving any immediate purpose, as it was built in an area that already had enough bridges. Compared to other similar venues, this proposed bridge was way too expensive. The 325-meter Millennium Bridge, for example, was constructed at a cost of just $25 million. The preparations were stalled in July 2016, pending a financial review. By 2017, the costs had risen beyond $280 million, and only $180 million was secured at the time it would have taken at least six more years to arrange the money needed for the project. That's why it was officially scrapped in August 2017, as the review committee decided it was better to cut their losses instead of moving ahead with the costly venture. The inquiry also revealed that talks were held with Apple to fund the project and to name it the Apple Bridge if an agreement was reached. But the company wanted to open a store at the premises, something that would go against the vision of the project. 
The failed project is said to have cost $60 million, the bulk of which went to the contractor, as a contract had already been signed. And another $12.5 million went to design costs. What was once dubbed as a gift to London faced financial uncertainty and a lack of transparency from the start. As a result, what was meant to be a sustainable and scenic architectural icon turned into a planning disaster, spending millions without even starting construction. Number 3. Doha Shark Crossing In 2010, Qatar was awarded the rights to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup under controversial circumstances. Immense pressure for a transparent inquiry resulted in the sacking and resignations of prominent FIFA officials. The 2022 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. Despite the outcry, Qatar moved ahead with its preparations, which included numerous infrastructure projects. One of these was the Doha Bay Crossing, renamed later as the Doha Shark Crossing. The project was first unveiled in 2013, and the plans included a 12-kilometer-long crossing consisting of three bridges interconnected by long underwater tunnels. The crossing was expected to host 6,000 vehicles per hour, enabling smooth and rapid traffic movement between the West Bay Area and the Hamad International Airport. The ambitious engineering project was projected to cost $12 billion, but less than two years after it was announced, it came to a halt. Low oil prices and an overburdened construction sector were cited as major reasons behind the delay. A rapidly increasing population meant there was an increased demand for residential developments, causing a shortage of skilled labor. In view of the economic strain and a stretched labor market, the government postponed all non-essential megaprojects, one of which was the Shark Crossing. After a delay of four years, the project was revisited in December 2019, when Qatar's Public Works Authority invited local contractors to brief them on the plans to restart the project. The local companies were asked to form international alliances, and the construction was scheduled to start towards the end of 2020. In 2020, Qatar announced a $140 billion budget which will be dedicated to the completion of their megaprojects. So, there is hope that this project will restart in 2021. However, even if the construction starts, it will take at least four years to complete the Doha Shark Crossing, which takes the completion date well beyond the World Cup in 2022. Number 2. Ryugong Hotel Next on the list, we have a mega project from North Korea, an unexpected entry on the list because the country is known to be hesitant in welcoming foreign visitors, especially from the Western world. To this day, only state-guided tours of the state are allowed, and it remains impossible for journalists to take a trip there. Despite all of that, there was once a time when North Korea wanted to accommodate thousands of foreign visitors in a 105-story pyramid-shaped hotel that would be the tallest hotel of its time. The project was conceived as a result of North Korea's direct rivalry with South Korea, which was just transitioning into a capitalist democracy as opposed to the communist regime in the North. A South Korean firm had just built the tallest hotel in the world in Singapore, and North Korea wanted to take that achievement away. So, in 1987, construction started on the Ryugyong Hotel with financial backing from Russia. Standing at 330 meters, the building would consist of three wings, each forming a cone towards the top. The upper part of the pyramid-shaped structure was to house five revolving restaurants with panoramic views of the Pyongyang skyline. December of 1991 marked the end of the Soviet Union, and the money behind the project dried up. Construction was halted in 1992, and there was no progress for the next 16 years. During that time, the hollow concrete structure became known as the Hotel of Doom. An Egyptian company took over the project in 2008 and installed a glass facade and LEDs to the building's exterior for $180 million. Further engineering issues halted the renewed construction efforts, and the building was deserted yet again. It came to life once again 10 years later, in 2018, when the LEDs on the exterior found a new use. The building is now lit constantly with Korean history and other messages from the government displayed on it. 
However, projections suggest that it will cost $2 billion to complete the hotel, which is 5% of North Korea's total GDP. So, despite the stops and starts, it seems very difficult that this concrete mountain will ever be finished. The Yugyong Hotel is currently listed by Guinness World Records as being the tallest unoccupied building in the world. However, that record might be under threat from our last project on the list. Number 1. Golden Finance 117 For the final mega project in this video, we head back to China, where one of the tallest skyscrapers in the world remains unfinished. The construction on the Golden Finance 117 started in 2008 with the view that it will surpass the Shanghai Tower to become the second tallest building in the world after Dubai's Burj Khalifa. The tower's basement was completed by 2012 and it topped out at 597 meters in September 2015. That was when the developer behind the project reportedly went bankrupt and the construction was suspended. There were attempts to restart construction in 2018, but those efforts stalled soon and no one has taken over the project since then. While the construction remained suspended, the tower did attract a few climbers who tried to climb the unoccupied building. In 2016, a Russian couple climbed to the top and even managed to climb to the crane left at the very top of the building. As far as the resumption of the project is concerned, an April 2020 order from Beijing might have been the final nail in the coffin for the Golden Finance 117. The government banned skyscrapers over 500 meters, and it seems like this massive building will never be finished. What do you think about these projects? Do you know similar projects that were never finished? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.